I think we've got to get going here. The referee's called oh. the time. He's doesn't want the players to just keep hitting the ball after the time. It's like, get on with it and get serving. <laughs> you tell them. Well, it's, it's um, what's been put out there by PSA. Yeah, no, I, yeah. You've got your, your yeah. amount of time, and at the end of that time, you've got to be ready to serve. It'll be interesting to see here. Alte reverts back to that, as you said, that holding and hitting, and then just searching for that backhand volley across the middle of the court. Well, it was working well, wasn't it? When El Tayeb was able to break and down the movement of Shabini, she was then able to make Shabini get to the ball ever so slightly late, which then takes options away from the world number one. If she's allowing Shabini to settle and, and just to move on to the ball, then she can do so much with it. Yeah, just like that. Two, one. Just like that, she had acres of time. Plays that drop in. Beautifully cuts that ball so nicely. And out to ball. Three, two. Yes, left, three, two. get back in leveling this match. I felt that first game was hugely important for her to win. Shabini's so dangerous when she steps it up a gear. Yeah, it's, uh, this is brilliant stuff from Shabini. Yeah, yeah she couldn't get to the wall because you were in the path to the wall. It's a fair comment. Well, El Tayeb feeling that there was a line, though. That was where they were disagreeing. Hard to sell from that angle. What was so good and what was very apparent in that last rally was what Shabini is creating with every shot that she's hitting, and it's pretty subtle. But the telltale sign is the way that El Tayeb is moving through the middle of the court. She's not being able to flow from shot to shot. There's a lot of rocking and reeling going on, which means that she's not understanding or quite getting what Shabini is doing. And it's because of the subtleties. It's the hold, it's the variations, it's the different paces. There's so much going on. Yeah, you can see even there the slight, like, just inch herself to the right, looking for the forehand. Wow. Oh, beautiful shot. El Tayeb gets a bit of swag back In here. She's allowed to swagger after coming out with a shot like that. But really have to bide her time on that round. Five, four. It was a bit of a shock and ducking, wasn't it, from <laughs> Shabini? Too. It's, it is Teb who's really stretched even there. She's, she's, she's hitting those shots on, um, basically on the end of her racket. Yeah, well, she wasn't settled though, was she? You can't take that shot no, on for if that you're one. not settled. Yeah, but it started here. It started up at the front corner and, and then back there. Shabini's just like edging that ball towards the sidewall, making El Teb feel, feel really uncomfortable.
Yeah, another good customary El Shabini shot. It's a shot I really associate with the world number one now. The ability just being at the front of the court to play the cross courts that, that just move away from the opponent, but also bounce twice yes. close to the short line. So on your first movement is back because our swing is up and you're expecting her to absolutely rip it to the back of the court. And by the time you've recovered from that, it's bounced twice and you haven't completely changed the movement to move forward. I think this has been some of the best squash I've seen these two play, you know, against each other. Really well contested rallies where, where they're both looking for, for the opportunities. It is close between them. It is, for, but for me, Shurbini's coming across as the player who, who's able to execute her game plan more. And I feel El Tavis is staying there because of the retrieval Shabini. stuff, not but actually executing what she wants to do. And but if you think about the games, that's sort yeah. of what El Tavis, you know, what she builds that as her foundation, doesn't she? The retrieval is is her foundation, and then the angles and that come from that as well. That's true. And at the US Open, that there was less flash from her racket, it was a bit more structured. And I think she would prefer not to have that retrieval be such a massive part of the game. I'm sure as well that sometimes when you're playing someone that yeah. has the skills and accuracy that El Shabini does, you, you have no choice but you have to survive the bits of play. A bit of a shank Lid from El Tayeb, catching the frame on the volley drop. Yeah, it was standard. You could see she committed to it very early. Not really what you expect from an informed El Tayeb. I think this is an OLET. I think this is an OLET. I think she's made this interference slightly. I think El Shabini was very slow off that ball. She was slow off the ball. Uh, the end of the rally, movement slowing down just a touch. I agree with what you're saying. I mean, I agree. Yeah. But, but you are right as well that Shabini's not doing enough off the ball. I don't think Shabini is doing enough off the ball here. I think it's probably got to be a yes let for that reason. Yeah. If it was, yeah, if it was yes, three shots in, I feel her movement would have been a little ball. bit more snappy. And also, if, if she'd been a bit sharper with the step out, she, the contact wouldn't have been there either. So I think that's the correct outcome from the referees. Crucial points coming up here for El Tayeb in particular. What? How in the world did you really get that back? Yes, Lynn. Yes, Lynn. Left box, 8-6. She's going to review it, but I'm not sure she has much of a case. It's unfortunate. I thought that Nick absolutely rolled from Altea earlier on. You want to review? Play a review tie up on the yes left decision. Just again, she's, yeah, there's the line and she stood there a moment too long. Well, the key is, I think once the ball goes deeper, then she'd have a case because yes, but 
the key is, is she's in the way yeah. when Shabini actually wants to go and play the ball to the side of her, yes, not to go back to the, to the back corner. And that's why it stayed as yes there. Oh, what a shot. Unbelievable shot. It deserves the cry from El Tayeb. This is a ridiculous volley drop. The roar you can hear back in Egypt, I'm sure. She's feisty. She's fired up. Unfortunate. Well, she went for the early ball. El Tayeb doing really well to win these last two rallies. Absolutely massive points in this. Great, great squash from both. This is so good. Played it and showed that she couldn't actually hit it as she eight asked. <laughs> Nine eight. Brilliant lob. Absolutely. Like, what a look lob. at that. <laughs> well, I should be a contender of a shot Absolutely. of a month, shouldn't it, really? We always have all these outright winners, but that is an unbelievable lob. We used to lob into a bucket for target practice. That definitely would have hit the bucket. Nine eight. Panicking the request from El Tayeb there. Stop, stop. She just clipped El Tayeb with a swing, so it'll be yes, Lep. El Tayeb's made of tougher things than that. She is. It would take more than a little clip to little unsettle clip El Tayeb. She might think she's bleeding. Oh, I really hope not. Nine eight. Wow, it's a great shot. Control. Unbelievable control. This is all about racket head control, understanding of how you hit the ball. Brilliant stuff from El Tayeb. Absolutely fearless. This is what I was afraid of. This is where it started to go a little Ten bit pear-shaped. Lots of interference, lots of... And then Shabina getting bothered. So be <laughs> Even the speed of El Tayeb couldn't get back. That second drop. Well, it's another game ball of El Tayeb saved. This would really hurt if El Shabini was to sneak this in a tie break. Certainly would. I'm half expecting El to come out with something. Oh, well, that's an unbelievable <laughs> forehand kill appreciated by El Tayeb, even in this game moment. Game ball. That is not coming out. Game ball for El Shabini.
I think it's a no let. I think it's a no let. Go for a review. Review it. We had the best angle on that, I feel. Got to review this, surely. Do you wish to review? Why would she not review this? I find she that incredible. She hasn't heard you shouting at her, Lee. Why not review that? I'd have reviewed it. <laughs> I, think, I think we all got that. Surely it was worth a shout, came ball down in the tie break. Yeah. Preaching to the converter here. It's not all about you, <laughs> Ashling. <laughs> We've had 30 minutes of this match so far. That's a no let. No let. Video referee it's a no let. Please. We're going to a video referee decision, but I'm pretty sure it's a no let. Why do the players look so aghast when it goes to a video referee decision? Because we should have been in Hollywood. We're not, so we decided to play squash because they're good actors and they're in the moment. I was trying to work out what you were saying. <laughs> oh, so they're good actors. <laughs> now, to be fair, in the moment, you're genuinely aghast. I was thinking, and the no world let. is against you. Yeah. Confirmation of the no let. A couple of groans from the crowd, but it's difficult if you look back at your own tired. matches. No lets. Hand out 12 and 11, game ball. Even the Malaysian national coach, Peter Jennifer, was looking quizzically at you then, Ashling. <laughs> Another game Maybe. ball for El Shabini. Oh, yes, you can see everything. Trabini going for the jugular here in this rally. Yes, yes let. White box. She's in the way there, so it was a yes let. It was, but there was a, a desperation in terms of voice that she did not know that was a given. I thought it was a no let. We're going to go for a review. Player review tire on the no let decision. From the angle that we first saw it, actually, got, I thought it got way deeper than that. Yeah, but I think you have to go and play that once, yes. you, once you're there. It said it was on the end of a I, racket. Yeah. I've got a feeling this is going to stay as a no let. What are your thoughts? I agree. I was agreeing with you silently, but I do agree. I mean, it's a huge call. Yeah. It's an absolutely huge call, but I just have a feeling it's going to stay as a no let. Do you think because it's so big that, oh, do you think it's because it's so big that they went safe? Yes, they decision overall. I don't know, but the, At 12, 11. the match referee had gone no let. Yeah. You're right, it's massive call. 12, 11, and one love up to go two love. Well, Shabini's going to have to put that behind her, settle back down. Conservative return serve from... Stroke tire. Ooh, Straight into it. I don't think this is a stroke. She's going to review that. I don't think this is a stroke. I think this is a generous Player stroke. Shabini on the stroke decision. I think there's a bit of space here. I think there's a bit of space there. I want to go overhead. I, I want to go overhead I'm going to commit. Oh no. I think this should be a yes let. I yeah, I agree. There's, there's space there. Yeah. She can get a racket up. For me, this is a yes let. What's she going to impede the swing? 
or confirmation yes, that it was overruled. He has one review remaining. 12-11, game ball. It's all happening. They've had 10 decisions in this game alone. Oh, put it away, Shabini, why don't you? Game to Shabini. Shabini leads two games to love. Wow, nice finish from Norel Shabini. She was, she was off the court before <laughs> she finished the swing. That's a thanks for coming, isn't it? <laughs> Turn and go from Norel Shabini. 33 minutes, she's leading by two games to love. She's taken that second one. It's a bit of an epic second. 20 minutes in duration, 13-11. So El Shabini is well on her way here. Well, it's a really entertaining game between these two. So close on the stats. Eight winners for Shabini, two winners, well, two errors. Seven winners for El Tayeb, two errors. Basically, just that one one shot, the difference, plus the strokes that El Shabini got. But unbelievably close and a really entertaining match between these two. Hope it continues into this third. Yeah, me too. At 33 minutes, if this goes to the wire, to five, we'll be looking at over the hour mark, which I don't think either of these girls have done against each other before. Game two, I think this is the one. Sherbini was so confident going into it. She got an early lead. El Taeb claws back with beautiful forehand volleys. Switched sides actually, but it was equally as effective as her backhand. But Sherbini held on mentally at the end of that game. She didn't let herself get too bothered by those decisions. And just absolutely cracked this one into the nick to take the second game.